Hey, and welcome back to Let's Play Animal Crossing City Folk Day 10, and it's snowing today! Can you hear the music? It's a little Christmassy. There's like a, a little thingy in it. A little jingle. <laughs> it's awesome. Anyway, so this is um rather early in the morning, and um, well, today we have... I think we have quite a few things to do. We have turnips, and oh yeah, our, our shop just got upgraded. So that's just great. But first thing I'm gonna do actually is uh, talk to Booker and see if anything's up in town today. See if anyone's here or whatever. What's new? Uh, there's no one new today. Well, that's okay. We'll we'll manage to find something to do. There's always something to do, to be honest. Uh, oh, he has some items. Oh, it's a pitfall. Well... Yeah. Yeah, thanks for the pitfall. <laughs> Alrighty, so I, I actually quite like my look. It looks... It looks pretty nice. Alrighty, so I'm gonna pick up some cherries. And today, um, my computer is not very, uh, happy about me playing, it seems. <laughs> it's a bit slow, but... That's okay. We'll make we'll make the best of it. Also, I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit um I, I don't think it's weird. It's just I I have like a really like my throat is really swelled up, if that's the word. So I I don't know. I, I hope it will get better cuz I do want to be able to film and spam you with Animal Crossing videos because I want to be sort of in schedule at least for uh, Christmas and um, yeah so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna spam you you're gonna have uh, like two videos a day so yeah <laughs> watch them all I'm just kidding uh, Patty Patty let's say hi to Patty hello Nick, you're just in time. Oh my gosh, it would be so great to get a new trendy furniture. But how to get it? Oh, I know. How about you bring me some? Um, I don't know what trendy furniture is like, but I guess I'll try. I knew I could totally count on you. Give me a letter. Wait, it's the second time a villager has told me this. The first time was um, something you actually didn't see because it's when the game crashed. Um... I think it was Mary that asked me for new clothes, and she told me, give me a letter at the end. So does that mean I have to write her letter with the gift inside, or what? I don't know. Oh, I hear people talking somewhere. It's Mary and Poppy! Uh, I missed the conversation, but it seems Mary uh, gave, Poppy, uh, gave Poppy a gift. Oh, hey, Nick's morning, Nutty. At this rate, the snow's really going to start piling up. Yes! I've been thinking about something for a really long time, and it's starting to really bug me. You know, we get a lot of visitors here, and not just folks from other towns. Yeah, where do they come from? I don't know. I think you asked me this a little while ago. Nix, you're just in time. You know, I feel pretty good about my fashion sense, but I think I'm just too predictable. Okay, so... I don't know your taste in clothes, but I'm gonna spin the Wheel of Fate or whatever. Go for it. Go out there and find me something nice. Oh, and have some fun. No problem. That's it, Nix. I need to totally count on you. Give me a letter. Okay, so that's when what she said um, yesterday, sort of. Yesterday that never happened, and your new shirt is weird, Poppy. I'm not sure I like it, but um, whatever. It's green. I guess it can be considered Christmassy. <laughs> and as long as it's Christmassy, it's all good, right? Hi, Ed, my favorite horsey. I'm sorry. Hey, Nix. The snow can't stop me. So, you know how some people show their faces around here only during special events, right? Well, I heard basically they're all total buds of the mayor. Getting pros like, the, like that to visit for free? Whoa, only the mayor has got connections like that. I'm not sure it's the mayor that really does this. Honestly. I don't think so. <laughs> I genuinely don't think he does crap about it. But, um, maybe that's just my opinion. And maybe it's not actually worth that much. There's a big fishy right there. But, uh, I'm not feeling too much like catching fish. We'll do it, um, during the fishing tourney this Saturday. Yeah, we'll be good. And, ooh, our coconut tree has actually grown. So you know what we can do now? We can sell those coconuts for a bit more than we can sell our cherries for. So that is great. And we have some dead flowers. Maybe the snow will help them grow. I don't know if that would work, really. But, 
Yeah, and hi kitty. And I'm sorry about the lag once again. My computer is just not happy today. <laughs> it's not. So let's visit Snake and see what he has to say. Hi, Snake. And your humble um, house thingy. What's up, Nix? You came over to hang out. Yeah. Dude, I almost forgot. There's something I gotta ha I gotta ask you. You gotta help me out. I need help in a bad way. What? Uh, did he say that? I don't know. I've got a package that has to be delivered. But I've got a massive leg cramp. Of course. Yeah, you totally have a leg cramp and can't move. Come on, bud. You gotta li deliver it for me. Okay. Yeah. To Poppy. Okay. Anytime today is cool. Well, he asked me for a lot today. Jeez. <laughs> I gotta do everything. Also, we're probably gonna start uh, Christmas shopping in the next few days because uh, we don't have a lot of items on display every day. So we're gonna need to... Um, to try to find stuff every single day for some of our villagers because I'm feeling like we could totally give them um, some gifts even though they're not they're probably not gonna consider it like a Christmas gift but that's okay hi Clyde are you here to hang out Nix? <laughs> the town tune <laughs> well you've come to the right place Okay, let's hang out then. This Saturday is the fishing tourney, so I'm gonna hold off on fishing until then. Oh, same! Same. That way, there'll be lots more fish to catch on the day of the tourney. Uh, I'm not sure that's how it works, but, but um... I, I guess. Do what you want. I'm also gonna hold off on fishing, as I said before. Oh, g that actually really scared me. <laughs> wow, my heart skip a bit. A, a beat. Skip a beat right there, and there's... Uh, Potential four-leaf clover up here, right there. So we're gonna have to see if it is one, or if it's not. It was not. <laughs> uh, so I think this is Dina's house. Let's visit. We've never seen her house uh, unpacked before. Oh, this is like a, a gym. Wow, she has like a gym and Mr. KK playing. That doesn't sound very gym-like. Huh. Oh, Nix, welcome to my humble household. Make yourself at home. <laughs> yeah, this is very, uh, homely. Sorry my place is such a mess. Well, um, your place is just pretty interesting, Dina. It was nice to see. I think I'm gonna go to the Abel Sisters first, and then we're gonna unveil the new shop. Oh my god. Hi there. Hi there, Mabel. So, what do you have to say today? Welcome, Nix. I'm just this town tune though. I'm just as busy as ever, if that's not obvious. Hmm? What? How can I handle working so hard all the time? Well, our survival depends on this job, you know. That's a given, and thinking about it too much won't change things. So I just say, that's life. It's been like this ever since I was a young child. It's all I've ever known. Yes, that's right. I grew up sitting right in front of a sewing machine. The first thing I ever made was a pair of gloves. Hey, maybe... Tee! <laughs> How long ago did that happen again? It was a very cold winter, and Mabel's claws got a nasty case of frostbite. I couldn't bear to see her suffer, so I made her some mini mini miniature <laughs> gloves. I put Mabel's little claws on top of the, clo of the cloth like this to make a pattern, but it was my first time, so the gloves that I made were terribly mishappened. Mm -hmm. Right, they were huge, but they were so warm. Thanks again for making those for me, sis. Oh no, it was nothing. Do you remember what you did with those gloves? You didn't wear them on your claws. You put them on your ears, remember? I think you thought they were earmuffs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not that story again. I was so little back then. I don't really remember what happened. But I probably thought my ears were going to turn into icicles or something. Okay, sis, enough already. Ah, uh, backstories. In the end, I'm just happy to have a job. And I have a number of people to thank for that. I must not forget them. Okay, well, that was a really nice story. I <laughs> Mabel must be a lot younger than Sable, actually, now that I think about it. And uh, there was no shirt I really liked today. I, <laughs> I could get Mary uh, a mummy shirt, but I don't think she'll really like it. The Abel sisters were l really living in poor conditions. It's really terrible, the, the story they had. And look at our new shop! Oh my god, it is new, it is nook and go. Nook and go. And <laughs> that's how the shop looks like. Let's see if it looks the same in the inside. Let's see. 
Welcome, yes, welcome to the exciting grand opening of Nook and Go. As you can tell, the music has changed. This is, oh my goodness, this Christmas tree though. Oh, Nook, you have clothes on. That's awesome. And there's there's a slingshot and an axe, and there's paint. What is this? That's red paint. You can use it to paint. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, no, I'm good with my roof being purple. I think it is purple. But wow, that's awesome. I love it. I love it. Let me get that Christmas tree. A big festive tree. Yeah, I'll definitely take it. Oh. Oh. Well, Nook, I have actually some stuff to sell you, so... Not the catalog. Uh, you know what? Let's let's see what we have in our catalog. Mm, a few things. Nothing too crazy. I guess, uh... I, I guess it's fine, though. It could be worse. It could be worse. <laughs> yeah, so I want to sell. And what can I sell? I can sell you those things. Those coconuts. Um, oh, I need to see the turnips. Right. Okay. That's fair enough. Uh, turnip prices. Oh. <laughs> that is so terrible. Oh my god. Okay. Um, we paid our turnips for, uh, um, 90 bells. So, I think Joan robbed us. Literally, and I kind of want to get this as well. I don't know why. I actually want to take the campfire. Looks nice. I would rather have a fireplace, but I don't know if I'm going to find one right now, so... Let's see what... The, oh, that doesn't look very very festive, does it? Yeah, um... What about this? A cowhide. Um... Yeah, okay, no. Uh, this is actually very expensive, too. So, what we can get now is the slingshot. <gasps> I'll take it. I'll take it. We can finally... Is it yesterday or the day before that we um, saw the spaceship? Because uh, I could have just gotten it. And it's it's really annoying. I want the axe. Oh, it's actually cheaper than the rest. Yeah. So, with the axe, we can finally cut trees. Which is pretty nice. Uh, I have to say. Yeah, and now our in inventory is pretty full, and... Oh, I actually never read the letter. Oh my... Okay. Red Shop Invitation. Here's the invitation to Red Shop that we were talking about. Just take this and 3,000 bells and head into the city. Good luck. Yours truly, Chester. I just wanted to hear the town tune again. So what we can do since, um, you know... We have a lot of uh, space. We can put these as gifts so that we just don't really have to worry about them so much. All right, Nook, I'm done with you. Thanks much for shopping. I'll come again. Do not worry. All right. Oh, the music is so cute. Oh, and there's a thing here. And I almost knocked a cup over on my desk. <laughs> right. I deck up a fossil. Yay! We can give this to Blathers. I don't know why I got so excited about it. <laughs> Like, yay! Alright, so... Poppy is over there, we need to give her a gift, but first, Chester. Hi! Oh, and I think Poppy is talking to someone again. Yeah, it's snowing! I wonder how many snow cones I can make out of this! <laughs> you know how usually you come s and say hi to me, and then I come up with something to chat about? Well, my brain's tired from thinking up conversation topics. It's your turn to think one up. <laughs> well, I, I would if I could. Just talk about whatever you want. I can't! So lay your funniest stories on me. Oh, Kitty. Hi. Pretty cool today, don't you think, Nix? Oh, sorry, Nix. I was just thinking about all of the things, well, that I was thinking about. Chester again, huh? I haven't been seeing you hanging out together lately. Hope it's going well. Ooh, and there's something new. Nook and go notice. We have decided to remodel our store to serve you better. We hope you like our improved service. Alrighty, let's go to Town Hall, and I, I don't think I found the money rock yet, and I'm a little worried, because I feel like I have checked every single rock, and I don't want to check every single one of them again. Wow, we have stuff. We have stuff. I I know someone has modern furniture, is it 
Ed? Did Ed throw, throw out some of his stuff? That's that's sad. And I found another gyroid. A mega fizzoid. We'll have to put this uh, in our house. Maybe the other one I have. I have it in my um, desk, but we could put it in the house now. Oh, puppy. I was looking for you. So, Nick, is there something you want? Yep, there actually is. To Poppy. I thought it was written the Poppy. I was like, what? Oh, what's this? A present from Snake. I wonder what it is. Oh, a go board. And it's exactly the one I, w I wanted. Thanks for delivering my present to me. If you run into Snake, say thanks. I will. Because he's going to give me a gift for that. So definitely I'm going to see him later. Ooh, this is the Money Rock. Shoot, I thought I had already done this one, but apparently not. Let's go to the cafe and see what's up. Hi, Brewster. Say, don't mean to shoot, but I see you've got a gyroid there. You like him? I don't tell a lot of people this, but I'm a collector myself. Amazing little things, aren't they? Not much to look at, not at a glance. But then you hear your first, and I'm sure you know what I mean. And so you start experimenting. Blending one with another. Changes everything. Like coffee beans, I suppose. Cool. Collecting them's a chore. Though... You got a technique? I understand. Trade secret. But listen, I'm renting a storage unit here, and I've got some space. I wouldn't mind seeing what other gyroids are out, uh, are out there. So you want to store yours in there with mine? Yeah! Wow, I didn't know that was a thing. A mega fizzoid in fine condition, cool. Don't worry, I wouldn't let anything happen to gyroids in my care. Just say the word when you want one back. Wow, I was not expecting this at all. So, how are the gyroids? They're fine. They're fine. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. About a cup of joe. Um, the usual. The usual bland. I'm good with that. Even got you a clean cup. What? <laughs> so usually you wouldn't? Is that is that it? Woo! Sweet with just a hint of bitterness now. That's a sophisticated flavor. Thank you. Okay. So this is a bit random, but I, I put down my furniture, and um, I'm quite satisfied with it. And I also gathered some items that I could give to Mary and to Patty, so let's go do that. And Mary's right there, how convenient. Hey Mary, I have um, I, 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 have, I have the clothes, so I guess the letter was not needed. So I gave her my watermelon shirt because um, it looks cute. You know, I'm more into like a cute style. And this is... This is... This is... Well, it's not that. <laughs> Why? Are you serious? A watermelon shirt is really cute. Don't you agree, Poppy? I'm sure you agree. Mary is so picky. Why? I I don't understand. I, I don't know if I have any cute stuff. Do you want my work uniform? My, uh checkered shirt or my bold check shirt all right let's try again close this like it <sighs> all right i'm gonna try my rose sky shirt um because i feel like it is um pretty cute maybe are you are you serious mary I hate you. Oh, and they're talking now. Poppy, so like, I bet you're totally into that new natural beauty look, huh? You know, the one where you don't shower or whatever. OMG. It just got real. <laughs> How can you say something like that? Do I look dirty? Do I smell like I need a shower, Nutty? She still calls her nutty. Like, whoa, take it easy and stuff, Poppy. I didn't mean to, like, make you freak, we. Oh, and how did you think I would react? Sometimes you're just not very smart, Mary. Shh, Mary, you're being such an ass today. You're... 
Our houses are like just about the same size, so I guess the only battle to be fought between us is one of like design sensibilities. And that's a battle I will totally win. She's totally being an ass today. What's up? Wh what's up with that? Excuse me, now's not a good time, Nutty. Well, I, I get it. You know what? I'm going to try my last shirt with you. But that's all I'm going to do, Mary. That's literally all I'm going to do. Because you're being really annoying. You know, I'm more into like a cute style. Okay, you're so annoying. What is he doing? <laughs> oh, I, he was talking to Chester, probably. Okay. Well, Mary, I just, I'm giving up. All right. You're just being such an asshole, and I can't... I can't deal with that, and I just ran over one of my flowers. Great. Right, so now I'm gonna try to give something to Patty. And if... Oh, Kitty, hi. What do you want? Have a moment, I found a nickname that would really suit you. What is it? Here it is. Fancy N. So don't you think it's perfect for you? It's... it's great. Well, I'm glad you like it, Kitty Cat. From now on, I'll refer to you as Fancy N. See you later, Fancy Ann. <laughs> Alright. I am Fancy Ann. Why? <laughs> I don't know, okay. Anyways. Patty. I don't know if you're gonna like this. But try to take this furniture and tell me what you think about it. Like, oh wow! <gasps> she likes it! The last time someone gave me something, it was a cold! Colds are dumb. This is way better. Anyway, Nick's here. I want you to have a water bird. No need to thank me. <gasps> We've always been BFFs, but now we're BFFs. I don't know what that means. Right. Okay. Well, at least Patty is being really, really nice. You know what I mean? Like, literally. Mary? I'm sorry. But I'm done with your fuckery. <laughs> that was for the rhyme. Okay, I'm sorry. Snake! I delivered it. You pulled it off? Nice one. I want to give you a little something. Take this 500 bells. Well, that's nice of you. There was no way that delivery was happening without your help. <laughs> They're so lazy. <laughs> Jesus. Like, really? You could have just walked out here. Like, why? Well, honestly, in real life... I would probably be like them, so I'm not gonna blame them, because to them, it is real life. Right? Right. You know what? I'm actually gonna buy a sapling, because I think at some point they'll put some Christmas decorations in town, and they put them on uh, saplings. And I'm gonna try to plant it right there. Uh, let's plant that. Right in the way of the, uh, bus. Right, so I think I'm done for the day. Um, it wasn't... Uh, it was pretty eventful. We had, um, the new Nook's shop, and we had Mary being an ass. Pretty much. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part where we will go to Red's finally. So yeah, see you then. Bye!